Hello and welcome back to Kenya Finland. Today I want to talk about something um, that is probably known to some of you, probably new to some of you, but it uh, involves services rendered by municipalities, specifically library services rendered by municipalities in Finland. In Finland, every municipality is obliged to provide library services to its uh, residents. And um, libraries are quite a social place and it's not just because people go there to uh, read books. Um, libraries are very, play a very big role in the lives of Finnish people as compared to Kenyans. Kenyans don't even re realize if uh, library services were so serious apart from borrowing books. So I'll go through a few things that we find in Finnish libraries. And one is some of the things that you can borrow from the library, like illustrated above from one of the libraries that you can actually um, borrow um, CDs or just basically log in and watch concerts that you are not able to go to. You can see material from museum that you are not able to visit. You can borrow um, workout equipment, books, uh, join the virtual church, ebooks, TV, videos, and many other things. So I will just go through a few of the things that uh, stand out and that I think are very important. One is DVDs, which everybody knows they can be very costly if you don't have money to buy or to go and lend, especially in Finland, one DVD will cost you around four euros to borrow. Another thing is um, sewing machine services. You cannot take the sewing machine home, but you can book uh, time to go and repair your clothes if you know how to use the sewing machine. If you're lucky, sometimes you can even get someone who will teach you how to use the sewing machine. Clothes repair in Finland are very, very expensive, such that uh, for many people, when their clothes tear, they prefer to throw them away and buy new ones. So at least from the library, you can get a sewing machine where you can go and repair your clothes. And especially parents who have small clothes, you all understand how children are always tearing up uh, clothes. So it is very, very good that you can uh, get the services. Not everybody can afford to have a sewing machine at home, but it's a, it's a skill that Finnish people uh, really appreciate and majority actually know how to use a basic sewing machine for clothes repairs. Another thing that you can borrow from the Finnish libraries is a um, heavy machine for carpentry. Uh, it can be cutting machines, it can be the drilling machines, uh, again for repair of furniture, of modification of furniture because these services are very expensive. Labor is very, very expensive in Finland. So it's good when you have these services and you can borrow equipment. Another thing you can borrow from Finnish libraries is uh, sports equipment, uh, all the way from uh, light hand weight machines to balls to uh, resistant bands to sports um, meters. All of that, even you can borrow up to um, blood pressure monitoring machines that you can be able to wear on the wrist. And uh, throughout the day, you can check uh, if your blood pressure is high or low. And then you, basically you borrow them and after you've used for the time agreed, you return them back. Uh, this um, wrist uh, active meter has been uh, very popular recently. And I know actually even of a friend who told me that in their uh, workplace, they went and borrowed these um, active meters just to check how many steps everybody is taking and who's being idle at work and who's uh, being active and just to, pro to encourage workers basically to stay active, which of course we all know if you're constantly moving, uh, it improves on your health, on your blood pressure, blood circulation, on your weight, and all those things. So 
it's a nice thing the other thing you find in uh, finnish libraries is a cafe a cafe is very important for elderly people who live alone so most of them meet there they have tea together they read the newspaper they catch up it's a very social place and it's a very very important place for uh, people in the finnish society yeah so i i think this would something that our kenyan government would actually consider and implement in our country and it will really improve on us gaining knowledge and even building uh, improving on our health and well-being if you like this type of video please like share and if not subscribe hey yo what are you waiting for subscribe for content like this from your girl you know otherwise be safe and keep